Welcome back. So in this video, like I promised, I'm going to be comparing the Panasonic GH5S to the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. So let's go ahead and talk about the gear I use. I use the Sigma 1835 1.8 and the Speed Booster for Metabones at Ultra 0.71x. I shot these at f1.2 and uh, you can see the rest of the settings on the actual screen. Now. When I converted these to Rec. 709s, I absolutely did not touch anything. Nothing at all. All I did was convert it in DaVinci Resolve. So you can see pretty much the direct conversion without a lot of stuff uh, that was done to it. And I am providing you guys the files to download so you can mess around with it. So realistically, you can do a lot more to this footage. As you can see in the GH5S, there's not a lot of details there in the shadows, but that's when you kind of do push and pull in post to see if you can get more detail there. Obviously, the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K has more dynamic range, so you can see that it has a lot more details in the shadow in the bottom right corner where the, all the rooftops are. Now, like I said, this is really simple and sweet. I am gonna be doing a lot of these. So if you want me to test something out about the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, let me know so that I can make a list and won't forget anything. Um, I did shoot in both native ISOs. So the native ISO for Pocket 4K is 3200 and the native ISO for the GH5S is 5000. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. I am going to be giving my first impression on this camera today, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later.